everybody, this is a thousand words. This is my very first speed build, and I'm not even sure that anybody's going to ever actually see it or hear it. I'm sitting here in my room, and I really have no idea what I'm doing. So, um, what I'm building here is I'm building a trailer park. I have a kind of an LP let's play that I'm working on right now, and I don't have a clear path of where I'm going with it, um, but I am building different portions of towns. So I have the city, of course, and then I have the area that this is going in. There's a train car restaurant, just kind of a mom and pop style diner. And then there's kind of a strip club. Uh, and then there's a few small kind of tiny homes that look a little bit rustic. And then you have a series of these four trailers. The one on the front has a lot of cracks and the furniture is older and outdated. And then you have the second one. Um, the same exact structure as the first one, just a little more upscale. So you're going to have um, maybe a little more established couple living there, which is what I ended up putting in. And then the third one uh, that I'm building, I think it's what it's building right now, <laughs> um, is stopping. I don't know. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> like I said, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I was probably thinking or dealing with one of my children or something when it stopped and paused for a really long time. Um, and this whole creating videos, doing the voiceover, editing, the whole thing is completely brand new to me. So there might be a few of those stutters in there and in my speaking. So sorry about that. What I was saying is <laughs> uh, this trailer is going to have a child's bedroom and then she actually lives there with her mother and then there's going to be a fourth one and the fourth one is more of your standard um, double wide kind of modular home or a triple wide that uh, is going to have a teenage boys room and it has space for mom and dad and I, <laughs> I kind of built them into the game as like they're wealthy and they feel like they're too good for the trailer park but that's where they live um, so they kind of try to rule the the roost at least mom does um, but she's a little loose I don't know if that's the best way to put it but she's a little um, a little flirty a little bit out there so you're never quite sure what's going on with mom but yeah that's pretty much what I'm doing uh, since you don't know who I am um, a thousand words but my real name is Kendra and frankly I'll go by either one I'm 36, so I'm, you know, old um, in internet terms anymore. I have two kids. I have two teenagers. I have a 16-year-old and a 13-year-old. Um, they're both gamers like their mom, and I am married to uh, someone who's in the process of being an immigrant to the United States. His name is Lars, and he is from Holland. And we are still going through all the process of uh, green card and all of that and it's so much fun <laughs> that's sarcasm um, <laughs> but we're we're kind of going through all of that and we game I play Sims I play World of Warcraft uh, life is strange I actually started playing and I think I've only gotten through two chapters on the first life is strange I have not played before the storm yet and I have not watched anyone play it simply because I I want to experience that for myself so I haven't done it yet uh, Sims I've been playing since Sims 1. I actually got it from uh, somebody that worked with my ex-husband. He said, hey, I've got this game. My, it was my wife. She doesn't want to play it anymore. Would you be interested? Um, and so I said, sure, I'll try it. And I fell in love with it. <laughs> I got addicted. And the biggest thing for me was when I was a kid, I wanted to be an architect. Um, I wanted to be that or a photographer. Those were the only two things in my life that I ever really aspired to. So in The Sims, the great thing about it was I could build big elaborate houses um, that I will never afford in my lifetime, but I could build and I really enjoyed that kind of thing. So, I mean, that was pretty much just pretty much what, what it was, I guess. <laughs> um, so I would build and build and build and I played a little uh, Sims 2. Sims 1 and 2, I never really had all of the packs. 
or anything. They were just kind of, I'm so sorry. They were kind of whatever we could get at the time. Uh, Sims 3 was where I really started to get into it. Um, and I remember when I got Sims 3, I had a uh, laptop that I thought was really, really good. Um, but then as soon as I put it in my game and I started to play, I was so excited. And my Sim was listening to music and all of a sudden there were these black pieces in the graphics everywhere. Turns out my computer could not tolerate <laughs> playing the game. So um, I upgraded to a different laptop. It was really overdue at the time and it was able to play it. Well, then you get to a certain point where I think it was Tropical Paradise and I was no longer able to play it <laughs> because it would just glitch out so bad. Um, and even on the current laptop that I have, uh, it just can't, it can't really play it that well with the packs in it. And I don't have all of the packs for that. I wish I did. There's some really amazing ones, great ones that were created and I don't have them. Um, but Sims 4, that's where it's at for me right now. I, some of the limitations that are different from Sims 3, I do kind of miss um, the create a style, create a sim, all of the different options you could do with colors and patterns and textures. And not having that kind of sucks, but um, it's okay because this one's actually playable and having all of the little cheats and stuff kind of makes it easier for me to do the things that I like to do, like moving the backpack around um, or like, exactly, just like that. Um, <laughs> uh, it helps me be a little bit more free and creative and custom content. I, did, I never did custom content with Sims 3. Um, the few times that I went to download somebody from the gallery that it had, uh, and it had it, it would either make my game glitch out really bad or um, it was just kind of a problem. So I never did it. But with this one, I have lots of custom content, <laughs> but I'm not putting any of it in this build, frankly, because I want to be able to upload this to the gallery. And other people, they may not like it. And that's, you know, that's okay. I build for myself. Um, unless somebody else had something they wanted me to try to build and I'm always open to do that. Um, but I build for me and I build for, you know, these people, these Sims that I create, um, they become a part of me. They become, uh, I like their stories and I like creating that and I like it to be in a house or in a town that I've built and had some involvement with. So, um, that's pretty much, yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm not really much of a talker. And so I have to talk for 14 minutes and 55 seconds and I'm already like eight minutes in. <laughs> I don't know what to say now. I've not been talking about the build at all because frankly, it's too fast for me to keep up with it. Um, the lighting right there, there was another build that I did um, where I stacked some things. And so the lighting kind of looked like it was coming through a plant or I can't remember what it was, but it looked really cool. I thought maybe I could do something again. Uh, it didn't work out. <laughs> so this one is the mom and the little girl. And I wanted it to be comfortable, a little more upscale. They've got just a little bit more money. She's, she's working hard. She's putting herself out there. And um, so, yeah, it's just her. She's doing the best she can for her and her daughter. I don't think I have any I did think I take some, oh my God, I can't talk. I'm so sorry. I took some pictures uh, of the lot when I was done with my Sims that I've put in there, kind of hanging out in their house. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to put that at the end of the second video or not. We'll see. So I love, I wish we had cars and Sims, but not because I'm interested in their driving functionality. I think it would be really cool if they could work on cars and fix them up, but I really would just like more toy cars so we can have more options for placing them on lots. <laughs> or maybe they were like actually a good size um, that they didn't look all pixelated and weird. Oh, so what you see right now is I duplicated this trailer and I put it uh, facing the others uh, when I was off camera. <laughs> because I completely forgot that I was recording. So I took it and I just made it a little bit bigger. I stretched everything a little so mom and dad's room is bigger, the teen 
teen boys room is a little bit bigger. I get a little bit more space with the kitchen and living room and then I'm actually able to put in a dining room table, but that's going to be in the second video. And now I'm telling you all about it in this one, which means I'll have absolutely nothing to talk about for the 15 minutes that the other video is going to be. Sounds about right for me. <laughs> Um, I really hope that I'm not like breathing really heavily into the microphone because then all of the talking that I've done is just going to be tossed out the window, which makes me kind of want to cry a little bit because <laughs> I don't think I can do this again. <laughs> um, yeah, so I forgot what I was saying though before I started talking about the build. No clue. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I work in the tourism industry. And uh, I'm also a photographer. I do food photography for the company that I work for. Um, I prefer to do photography for things that aren't moving, um, not necessarily people, because I'm not always the greatest. I work in IT, so I'm a little bit of a nerd. And um, <laughs> human interaction, I'm not really the greatest at it. Um, case in point, me trying to talk for 15 minutes straight without sounding like a crazy person. It's just really really difficult for me. Um, but I appreciate if you've made it this far in, I thank you for listening. Um, and you are an incredible person. <laughs> um, I do want to stream on Twitch, but I can't quite seem to get my laptop um, to stream without giving me a weird video error. So hopefully this weekend, I'm recording this on a Thursday night, hopefully this weekend I can look at it again and see if I can do it. Because I think being able to do that and as I'm building or as I'm playing, um, to do that and be able to interact with people. I absolutely love it. Um, we're at 11, uh, 50 on the video. I think I have 14. So while I'm here, I'm going to shout out a few people that I really like on Twitch. You need to find Ruby star 92, uh, Rory plays underscore UK simmer, <laughs> um, Sylvia Gitsy. And I believe they all also have YouTubes. Um, I'm going to try to link them. And mainly that's just me supporting other creators, other Sims players, people that I really um, admire. I admire their talent. I admire their communities and what they've built. Um, they have all inspired me in their own way to branch out, to try to find um, a community, people, a support system online. They are... Oh, Anton Glader is also another great one um, from Sweden. But just, it's such a beautiful, um, accepting, forgiving, incredible community. And um, find them, show them love, support them. And yeah, <laughs> I will link them because that's just who I am. It's not about, this really isn't about me. This is about... Um, what I enjoy doing, which is The Sims. So right here, what you're seeing is I am deleting out of the last trailer, all of the stuff I'm not gonna use, or I'm changing it to go with, like this is the teenager's bedroom. I'm changing it to fit his style. Um, yeah. <laughs> and I think I've already widened it. I put in some bay windows. I wanted it to look, you know, a little more fancy. This right here, I was, fighting so hard to get the bed where I wanted it to go. And it was the plant on the other side of the wall in the living room that just was stopping everything. And I don't know why, because it wasn't poking out. Yeah, I tried for a while. It made me want to pull my hair out. I kept looking, what is there? What is stopping it? It is the plant. <laughs> Stupid. Yeah. <laughs> what I was saying is this isn't about me. This is about, um, who I found and what this community means to me. So thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. I know there's no music. I know there's no intro, no outro, no any of that stuff, but um, thank you for watching and maybe next time it'll be better. <laughs> thank you. Oh, I think you're gonna get to see me fight with the window, trying to put things on the window too. I don't know. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> I don't know. Um, oh, lighting. Yeah. And then, yeah, trying to put like pictures and stuff. So <laughs> thank you for watching.